is uh, good morning friends welcome back for another video today we are going to see one more uh, manuscript in from the journal of machine learning and uh, it is from the latest issue issue number 4 april 2021 in this one more good research paper is beneficial and harmful experimentary machine learning so it was published in the latest issue let us see about this uh, paper so this paper is uh, basically is regarding the what are different type of beneficial and harmful effects of explanatory machine learning just a brief overview about this the point is that uh, machine learning systems are going to help humans in making decision making and they are going to give little explanation regarding the uh, models what they have prepared but the overall point is that we should be able to decide that the explanation given by the machine learning algorithms is it beneficial to humans are it is harmful that means the other is uh, specifying a point that uh, initially there was a system known as ultra strong machine learning which is demonstrated to give you the measurable increase in human performance of a task following provision to human of a symbolic machine learn theory for task performance so there Uh, it it has given a different measures and criteria which can be used to understand that how much uh, the particular machine learning theory or explanation is useful to human beings so here the question is from the others that is it really useful or it is having its own side effects like harmfulness also so here they in this paper they have investigated by using simple 2% game and they had even used the uh, cognitive science uh, framework to define that how much uh, it is uh, useful so they had done uh, the experimental simulation to understand how much high performance that humans can understand from own self learning and how much they can understand from using the machine learning explanations so the introduction starts here uh, where it gives uh, the initial system in 2018 regarding the ultra strong machine learning which is an experimental simulation demonstrating the empirical evidence about human improvement out of uh, sample that is about the uh, machine explanation now you can see if they had given taken this example for understanding that so the example is said to be as island game where uh, the users uh, that is the players has to make the moves uh, to occupy the different islands and different resources whoever try to occupy the more resources they are successful in that game okay this paper investigates uh, the main explanatory effects of machine learning involvement in human skill skill acquisition of a using a simple game okay so they have hypothesized uh, that the machine learning theory provides a harmful explanation to humans when theory complexity is high and execution is uh, cognitively challenging so that was the point so they had given that when the explanation given by machine may be harmful to the humans when the complexity of the problem is more and execution is high that means uh, the complexity is high right so now uh, then they have summarized the total work as they try to define the beneficial harmful explanatory effects first thing and they try to develop a framework for cognitive window of machine learning theory and they did a qualitative and quantitative analysis of the results by demonstrating using different game theory okay so different parts of the papers are explained here 
and then in the related work they have touched about all the things like uh, explanatory machine learning of games and what will be the explanation for human problem solving and sequential decision making and two way learning between human and machine this is a new concept here where human can help a machine to learn and machine can help human to learn then they had shown the theoretical framework okay so what is uh, the definition of a win and how a win can be explained okay then going forward so what is the explanatory effectiveness of a machine learning theory how can we define the effectiveness of a machine learning theory that they had given in the form of different definitions and they have defined the cognitive window for machine learning then the experimental framework so the main thing about this is they have uh, involved the experimental framework with criteria of evaluating the participants learning quality how the participants have learning the things here and uh, uh, and what are the different type of hypothesis they have framed so that they are trying to give it in the experimental framework and they have they are trying to find different answers uh, from this experimental work here so we are interested to demonstrate whether textual answer quality of a learned knowledge reflects the comprehension or not at the same time there will be a uh, cognitive bound for humans to provide textual answers machine learning theory helps improve the quality of textual answers so these are the different uh, things what they want to demonstrate for these three they had given these three uh, what we can tell the postulates here which they are trying to prove it right here h1 h2 h3 and h4 so here is the main thing here the criteria which they use to evaluate level 0 level 1 up to level 4 they had given here and in the experimental setup here they are using these two games nogots and crosses and island game and they had defined the winning condition is met when the player controls either all the territories on one island or three instances of the same resource so that was the winning criteria of that game then for the methodology and design uh, this was the training what they are going to do so they will take the participants and they will have different stages for the participants first they will give the introduction to them in the introduction they are going to understand rules to move and win the game then pre training session where they need to choose the optimal moves then post training session where they have to choose the optimal move with the understanding of the pre training and then open questions describing the strategies of the previous moves what they made and lastly survey giving details regarding their age group and education then this is uh, the initial shown section for the pre and post training questions for the island game here then experimental results uh, they try to carry out these experiments on three samples that means an undergraduate student group from imperial college london and a junior student group from german middle school and mixed group background group from amazon technical turk amt so they had formed a three teams and three student teams what we can tell and on that they try to run this uh, learning task here for these games and they have defined different uh, criteria for this one like pre test what was the result post test what was the result this is the red graph shows the pre test and blue shows the post test for these three winning situations and for this another category so what was the pre test what was the post test results how much improvement is there for which type of win like that for the number of correct answers for other two groups also they had given and then uh, the accuracy results has given here that how much accuracy is there for the pre test and post test accuracy post training accuracy this is before training and this is after training what is the accuracy this accuracy matters the other accuracy 
then they had given the graphs also accuracy of selected post test moves so proportions of verbal responses so textual answers they are going to provide now explanation why we they had made that particular move so for that answers how much they are used then in the same way the hypothesis concerning quality of textual answers and comprehension what they had given in the starting they try to analyze this one c stands for confirm and denotes not confirm h for hypothesis so confirm and not confirm are they so first question they had raised is human comprehension manifested in textual answers quality it's confirm in win 1 win 2 win 3 difficulty for human particulars to provide textual answers increase with textual answer quality this is also confirmed according to their results scenario machine learn theory improves textual answer quality that they have not confirmed so thereby they are raising a question that the machine learning explanation may be a, a beneficial or it may be harmful that was their point what they want to prove and in the discussion again they are trying to specify the same point here right and in the conclusion what they are going to give the point is the same thing so here you can see uh, our theoretical framework involves a cognitive window account for properties of machine learning theory that led to improvement or degradation of human performance so human performance can be improved or maybe de de degraded that is harmful effect of machine learning right and in the same way uh, there is a important question since a positive outcome implies the limit of scientific explanation so the conservative approach has been taken we have obtained preliminary results from a rather narrow domain so they are again telling that the results set what they have taken is not uh, that must uh, more elaborate they have taken a narrow domain so again a point of error may remain in that so this was uh, the paper regarding uh, this this was one of the good contribution so understanding this one and going forward about this one is is a very good uh, research issue so try to be with us try to subscribe our channel and uh, try to continue with us for further updates whatever doubts regarding this is there you, you are very much welcome to give it in the comments here we'll try to go forward regarding this so the overall intention of this paper is to understand what are the beneficial and harmful explanatory machine learning and they have concluded the point that one way uh, learning may not be the good learning like uh, um, humans trying to make machine learn or machine trying to make human learn may not be the right scenario the new direction of 2021 or the new era is to make mutual learning machine should give some explanatory things which is useful for human and of course human should give the explanatory things which are useful to machine and thereby going forward is a very good issue right thanks for watching take care all of you